Hello. Today I'll be taking you through how to operate one of the HD single projection rooms at Central Arizona College. We'll be going over things such as how to turn the room on and off, how to select a source, and how to send a help request without even having to leave the room. In most classrooms, the document camera is stored in a drawer inside of the desk. In order to access the document camera, ensure that the locking element on the drawer is turned vertically, and then pull the drawer out. Once the drawer is fully opened, the camera and the light on the document presenter can be completely extended. The keyboard and mouse for the PC are located in a tray inside of the desk. To access the keyboard and mouse, simply press down on the locking mechanism on the tray and pull out. This tray is never locked. When the room is off, you'll be able to tell because the on-off button in the top left-hand corner of the touch panel will be red. To turn the room on, simply tap the on-off button, and you'll see a warm-up screen begin to appear on the touch panel. And you should also see the Elmo power light begin to blink. During warm-up, the side buttons will be unresponsive on the touch panel. You'll have to wait until the room warms up fully to use these. While the system is warming up, please take this time to make sure that the computer is turned on. Once the projector has powered on fully, a source may be selected for viewing. When the room has fully warmed up, the touch panel will display a blank tab. This blank tab indicates that no source is currently being sent to the projector. In order to show the PC on the projector, We'll simply tap the PC button on the left hand side, and we see that this tab changes on the touch panel. To view the document camera on the projector, simply press the dock cam button on the left hand side of the touch panel, and when you do this, you'll notice that there are four buttons available for our use. The two zoom buttons allow us to zoom in and out on the document that's in the document camera. The lamp on-off buttons allow us to control the lighting that is built into the Elmo. If we wanted to turn the lamps on, we simply press the lamp on button, and we see that the lights for the Elmo turn on, and then to turn the lamps back off, we press the off button. We can also view a Blu-ray or DVD on the projector by pressing the Blu-ray button. Notice that when this page opens, there are several buttons available for us to use. On the left-hand side, we have buttons that control the player. So for instance, if I wanted to open the tray, I could press the eject button. And I would simply insert my disc. To make the tray retract, I press the eject button again. And I also have all of the features available from a standard Blu-ray remote control. As with all videos, I can pause, I can play, I can rewind, I can fast forward, I can skip ahead, I can skip backwards. And I can exit the video and return to the main menu. The last source option on the left hand side of the panel is labeled sources. By pressing this button, we blank out whatever's on the, currently on the projector. And we're presented with four options that we can view. The first three of these are auxiliary sources, any three of which can be accessed using the auxiliary cables that come out of the desk. And for each of these, there is a picture associated with the type of cable that you'll use. By tapping these pictures, you can scroll through many other images of the cable. HDMI aux is typically used for newer laptops. RCA aux is most commonly used with older devices such as camcorders and VCRs. 
VGA aux is the type of cable most commonly used with laptops today. The VGA aux cable also comes with a 1 8 inch audio cable. You'll have to plug this into your laptop to be able to hear any audio from it. There are two ways to completely blank the screen on the projector. The first way is to simply tap the sources button. The second way to blank out the projector is to press and hold the selected source until its light turns dark. So for instance, if we have sources selected, I can press and hold it until the button goes dark, and now we're showing nothing on the screen. Similarly, if I have the document camera selected, I could press and hold this button until it goes blank, and now we're showing nothing on the projector. Suppose that we want to watch a video on the computer and we need to change its volume. The first thing we'll do is select the PC, and then to change the volume, we'll simply use the two volume controls on the right hand side of the touch panel. The volume up button allows us to make the volume louder. The volume down button allows us to make the volume quieter. On the touch panel itself, there is a small mute button that you can press to completely mute the audio coming out of the selected source. When a source is muted, the volume up and volume down buttons will flash green. You can unmute the audio at any time by pressing the volume up, volume down, or the mute button again. If you encounter any difficulties while using the classroom, feel free to use the help feature on the touch panel. To access the help feature, Press the help button on the top right hand side of the touch panel. This will open up a new tab on the touch panel screen. You can select from any of the four pre-canned messages and pressing the send button on the bottom of the screen will send this message to the multimedia support technician on duty. To go back to the PC, you can simply tap the PC tab on the top of the panel. Now let's assume that we're done with our presentation and that it's time to leave the room. To power the room off, simply press and hold the on-off button for three seconds. A window will appear on the screen letting you know that the system is cooling down, and the on-off button will flash red. While the system cools down, none of the buttons on the sides of the panel will be accessible. 